Oh my god. <laughs> we brought it up a couple. There you go. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Three. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Good practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Great. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. She's a doctor. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Beautiful. 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 gratitude in this experience, see gratitude in this moment. technique. I don't, you might have heard of Wim Hof technique. The reason I wanted to share that with you today because every Wednesday um, Native American shaman and Josh here at uh, the tribe of Phoenix do the Wim Hof technique and then there's an ice bath. Wim Hof is considered the ice man. He basically recovered and healed himself from deep 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 depression and not really being being done with life and he started going to deep ice places in the world and swimming in ice cold water and literally that he learned that he can control his organism and not only his hot and cold feeling but literally how he responds to life how his immune system responds and he's been teaching it all around the world where people walk in shorts with him on top of these ice mountains and um, we won't have much of a sunset today although the sun is beautifully hidden which you can't really see it's hidden behind clouds today but the idea is that we do this breath work this deep 30 30 times in and out in and out in and out so we super oxygenate our organism when that happens we take a deep exhale so in and out there's an exhale for we hold for as long as we can we start with 45 seconds 45 seconds and one minute one minute and 15 or one minute and 30 and then there is a recovery breath that after the deep exhale it's a deep inhale and we hold it for 15 seconds after that we go in and out so it's a rhythmic breath meaning in in a different way where we go about the same inhale and same exhale but we go almost like there's so many breath techniques that we can do one of them is holotropic breath work one of them is we just learned yesterday about rhythmic breathing but the idea is that we super oxygenate the body super oxygenate the body and reset the nervous system and reset the endocrine system as well when that happens we can control how we respond so we're gonna do ice baths right now and um, Josh actually has we can do that in a bathtub where we put a bunch of ice cubes in and create a super freezing temperature 
that one is a little bit harder to do because we have to haul our ice cubes or um, we can have a deep freezer as George has which is set for um, pretty much freezing temperature at, of the water and the idea is to get into the water and there is the natural <gasps> contraction and the fear comes on the body starts fearing for life if we can relax into it and if we can let it go there comes a point of deep relaxation where the body starts preserving resources and it learns that or we learn our mind learns that our body is fully capable of managing this and it becomes this deep state of relaxation where we really stimulate once again the parasympathetic nervous system which is profoundly healing to any mental emotional aspects to any inflammatory issues and it's an overall increase in the capacity of our immune system to heal and to function there's so many more profound um, benefits from this in particular um, it's learning that our body the strength of our body and the the control that we have in working in tandem with our organism and literally for the the first few times it may be difficult to hold the breath for that long but that's okay instead of setting a timer we can set a, a watch meaning we see how long we can go so we long as we go as long as we can each time but the idea is inhale into the belly and then the chest into the belly and then the chest inhale exhale inhale exhale and then we hold when we exhale then we hold for as long as we can and it's going to become longer and longer the beautiful thing about this breath it is energizing so it's not the best thing to do in the evening but it's a great thing to do when we are wanting to get ready for a task or when we're a little bit of a in the sympathetic overdrive or when there is any anxiety or maybe some depression like we can actually help ourselves pull ourselves out of it with a breath like that and if we don't have an ice bath at least we can do ice cold chowder or um, whatever cold chowder we can do in Arizona but that would be the idea um, there is also a center that I can think of right now uh, the owner is Michael he's in Central Phoenix he actually teaches this and he has an ice bath ice bath right there and then so it's beautiful to go first you know a few times to do it with somebody and have them guide us through it and hold the space because the first time going to the ice top is very frightening right because the body goes into oh, overdrive so it's nice to have somebody hold that space I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get the name and post it down here or um, Josh is also doing the same thing here. Um, I'm gonna go back and we're going to do a quick check-in to how the ice bath looks and after that we'll complete our sunset musings and we'll do a brief uh, community get-together. Okay you guys? Alright so this is the best look we can get at the setting sun behind the cloud so that's our sunset musing part for today. But um, I apologize for the timing and everything. I was trying to navigate it in with um, to be part of the community. And you may not have heard Josh when he did that. But it's always nice to do it in a group of people if we can in a community. So maybe something that we'll try together again uh, now that we can practice and we can get a little of a hang of it and and see how that feels. The thing is best to do probably sitting for sure, or not standing or laying down the first time because as we super oxygenate our brain, we can get a little lightheaded and there that can be a little bit of a tetany, you know, when that happens, don't be afraid. It's actually a really good thing is the body is releasing uh, some deeper toxins underneath when that happens. So let's see whether I add, I'm gonna show you one or two people on the ice bath and we'll see how that goes they probably all have done it so it's kind of fun but i want you to just see that it becomes very deeply relaxing and it's literally like a deep freezer you know so easy so let's see where they're at i can get in <gasps> through the back door And then we'll end this part, okay? Beautiful. So I'll just see where they're at. 
This is fun. Have you ever seen people in a deep ice freezer? Got this. Move away from the pain and start feeling the breath. Breathe it out. Move away from the pain and start focusing on the breath. Move it out. Deeper how that was profound relaxation at the end. It was so beautiful. Aww. It's very, it's very empowering. It's very self-empowering. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll end, okay? Oh, yeah.